Ted, thank you so much for sharing, again, uh, the next <laughs> the next evolution in this amazing piece that I have had the pleasure of watching for all these wildfires. Um, I had the, also, of taking your class today, uh, in which some of us lucky people got a sneak peek into your movement practices, and it would be awesome if you could please share some of that with us. By movement, do you mean spinning or the, the dancey bits? Both. Uh, I'm movement and dance, so what, whatever you want to speak about there. So, uh, I don't have much background in dance at all. I actually started in goth clubs, as you all have known, for, at one point or another. <laughs> and I just found interesting people and mimicked them, and eventually found my way to something interesting. Uh, then I tried incorporating that into Poi. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There's this one thing I was like, that, I, I thought that one worked, but I don't know. I can't, I can't see from down here. It worked, it worked. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it, for me, it was all about understanding my own body and its movements, and how can I manipulate it like it's an object. <laughs> hey Thank you. Hey buddy, how are those lights treating you now? Hey buddy, I can't see shit. <laughs> Isn't that a fun part of this? Uh, so when uh, the three of us walked up here, you were practicing this on stage, and uh, there were a whole bunch of different things that you were trying out that I didn't see here. And here, here, here would be what I would ask. What got cut, why, and what did you stick in to replace it so that it still felt that seamless? Nothing was cut. <laughs> nothing was cut, nothing was taken out. Uh, this routine was put together it, it's, it's compartmentalized. There are designated sections that are interchangeable and mostly improv. Um, okay, so <laughs> uh, I was I was sitting with Kevin Gowan uh, not too long ago, and I was talking about how to break down a song for a routine. And it, it came to mapping out the song, uh, brick by brick, piece by piece. Uh, we, we sat there and wrote it down on paper, a uh, song that he was trying to work on. And that's, that's my exact methods. And when you break it down and it's visibly there in front of you in paper, you can then go through and give each part a name of something that you want it to be. Uh, usually it's something like crescendo, badass drop, glitchy, glitchy, glitch. <laughs> it's something like that. Uh, and then when you have all these visible bricks, you can, get a, you can start to get a sense of what you want to go where. And so having heard that song hundreds of times, it is drilled into my brain where each and every individual brick is. So everything is interchangeable. Everything can be put in or out. Sir, um, I actually, speaking on the theatrical side, didn't realize how theatrical you were until laser tag last night. <laughs> <laughs> Team, shut the fuck up. Team, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Giving away our fucking spot, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> so this, this piece has some amazing uh, dramatic pieces. You pull the audience in incredibly well. Uh, we follow the character through highs and lows. Um, even though it's not a character piece, you still do an amazing job of bringing us in. Tell us a bit about how you create that for the audience. What do you practice? What kind of things do you think about to set that up? Uh, for one thing, I, had, I have to choose a song that is incredibly personal to me. And this song and this routine in general actually has a lot of history. I'm not going to get into it right now because it, it, I don't have an hour and Dale needs to come back on here soon. Um, but the song specifically. 
So, two, two years ago... <laughs> What's up, Dale? Never thought you'd see me like this, huh? <laughs> Your eyes are open this time. It's a class, people. <laughs> So I, I, I chose a song that was very personal to me that I've, that I've grown with and has, I feel it, like it has grown with me. Uh, and I move from the heart. Everything about what I do is pure and utter devotion to this. Uh, I put myself in it entirely. Uh, even if it's not a routine, if it's just spinning out the street. I spend four hours a day, every day, every single day. And I, I like to think that it's a part of me, you know? So I, I, I like to think that I draw people in because I'm not putting on a facade. I'm not putting on anything. I, there's no mask, there's no... I'm wearing my cargo pants that I've been wearing all weekend and the shirt that I kept tucked in my backpack. I, I would have I would have worn my scarf and hat, but they get in the way. So I, I just come out here and try to be as genuine as possible. Ted Petrosky.